Yeah, this is the, the cage that Chris built. The cage that KB built. The one, the dinky one outside was the one that built me. Good, good. Most kids that are young hate tea work, <laughs> but they do it because they understand that it's important. True that. Of course you like to hit the ball that's actually moving, because that's what you do in the game, but now I, it's probably my favorite thing to do is hit off the tee. Pretty much get a hit every time. Remember tee ball? I think you hit a thousand in tee ball. I wish I could do that now. There wouldn't be enough money to pay you. <laughs> if you wanted to break it down, how many days he spent on the tee in terms of, okay, that would be 100 a day, okay. six days a week, so that's 600, 2400 a month. I bet you he spent half his life <laughs> up until this point on the tee. The very first day that I threw to him live, he was five years old, he was playing t-ball. Just, he's got the bat here just like this, just like he is now. He barreled it up, it went about 150 feet. He's five, nobody does that. You know, I wasn't teaching him how to hit at five and six and seven. He was just, I was just letting him play. He was swinging up from the time that he, very first time he swung the bat. When he was 12 years old is when he really started to hit the ball super, super hard. Chris had that sound young when he first started hitting with wood bats. That's common with the big guys, you know. Oh, come on. That's pretty good. I love it. Having the cage outside was like Christmas all year round. Yeah, it, was, uh, it was up there for a long time. Oh, man, 13 years probably. It was actually Chris's mom and her brother, my brother-in-law, were the ones that put the cage up. Chris used to be waiting in the doorway of the garage when I was done with my last lesson about 7.30 or 8. So him and his brother would be waiting there with their helmets on. They would both run out, fight for who got to hit first. Oh. He loved it. He was out there every day. Nine, um, nine o'clock was the cutoff, right? We'd go to 9.30 sometimes. People are sleeping and stuff. You know. But we would be out there tinging away. We had a lot of holes in the top too, so we hit them through the holes, and they'd go across the street and hit the houses over there. Yeah, it was dangerous all around. One more. Always end on a good one. Him and his brother playing catch in the street one day. They threw a ball through the neighbor's window. So I just wrote him a note, hey, when you get home, tell me how much this window cost out of the <laughs> They were so funny. You know, broke that window a couple of times. Dang it. Broke my parents' windows a couple of times. And it's always you, you break the window and then everybody here scatters. Someone goes hides in the bushes, someone goes in their house and tells their mom. The other kid's booking it down the street and they're, nobody wanted any part of it. So we just went outside and played every day. That's all we did.